Here's the uh, question then. Let's have a look at it. I've written it in summary form here. Um, let's find the stationary point then and the coordinates of for part A. So here, let's get dy dx first of all. Uh, power rule, 2 comes down, x to the 1 less than 2, which is 1, minus power half. Half comes down to b with the 32 to make 16, x to the 1 less, which is minus half, and the constant goes to 0. Let it equal 0. So, a 2 will cancel. So divide by 2 all the way through, and x equals, I'm going to move this across at the same time, 8x to the minus a half. Okay, so x, that will be underneath, move it on top, that will be 3 over 2 is equal to 8, I think. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, that's good, that's okay. So that tells us then, um, the x, take the third root, x to the half, key root of this is a half, key root of this is 2, and then square, x will equal uh, 4. There we go, x is 4. So x is 4, so what's y? Well y is equal to this, isn't it? Uh, at x equals 4 then. y is equal to, now what was it? It was x squared minus 32 root x x squared minus 32 square root of x uh, plus 20. Okay, so 4 is the x value, so we get 16 minus 32 times 2 is 64 plus 20 minus 48 plus 20 is minus 28 so p has coordinates then 4 and minus 28. That's part A. To determine the nature of the stationary point, so let's get part B then. We need the second derivative. So d2y by dx squared then. Let's differentiate dy dx. x goes to 1, so 2 lots of 1 is 2. The minus half comes down to make plus 16 halves are 8. x to the 1 less, minus 3 over 2. Equals, well x to the minus 3 over 2 is 2 plus 8 over x to the 3 over 2. And before x to the 3 over 2 was 8, so it's 2 plus 1, which is 3, which is positive, uh, which is greater than 0. So a min, so a min, minimum, at x equals 4, we, because we put x equals 4 in here, didn't we, in this part here. Okay, so it's a minimum, which is what we needed to show. Anything else? Let's have a quick look. The nature, that's fine. 